Lahat ng binilas ni Lord ay magsabi ng Amen. Amen! Yo. Lahat ng magaganda, magsabi ng Amen. Amen! Lahat ng guwapo, magsabi ng Amen. Amen! <laughs> Parang guwanti lang ang yeah. Anyway, nakikita mo rin kayo, lahat ng mga naniniwala na Lord, si Lord ay may mga hilanda pang uh, parating na blessing, pakitaas ang kamay. Amen. Ano, ano? Ah, I can see you. Oh, thanks, Casey. Yan, sige, sige. Alright, God is good. It's uh, good to be... Okay, sige. It's, uh, it's really a uh, blessing na makita ko kayo lahat ulit. As you can see then, ako ay uh, kayo mga naka-jacket. Ako din po, kahit uh, sila na po mga bintana. Ako buulan po dito ngayon sa sa General Trias. Medyo may konti po nga, uh, uh, konting kidlat. Pero, ang tabayan na po natin na uh, kagagapan ako. <laughs> ang tabi ko naman po dito ay magkayan. Uh, wala po masakyan. Kaya, ayun po. Yeah, yeah. Ang gaganda ninyo. Amen! Uh, Hi, Brother Alex. Yeah. Anyway, sige, let's pray muna. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord. Lord, maraming salamat sa umangang ito. It is a blessing. It is really a joy to see my my uh, brethren again, Panginoon. And I know that we may be apart, but our faith uh, are one, Panginoan. That's why you are moving mightily sa bawat buhay ng bawat isa at sa iglesia, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat at maraming salamat din sa mga buhay na nag-aalay, Panginoon, sa inyo, ng kanilang servisyo, ng oras, Lord, kanilang finances, Lord, upang patuloy na lumagkana ang inyong gawain na inyong salita. Salamat sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yan. Uh, okay, so before all lahat, alam niyo na, na ang, sa mga panahon ngayon, usong-uso ngayon ang uh, mga sakuna. Tama? At ang isa sa mga sakuna na, na talaga nakakasira ng marami ay uh, ang tinatang nila ang tsunami. Di ba? Yeah. Ang tsunami ay napakalaking alaw na kaya lamunin ang mga building, kaya lamunin ang mga bahay, kaya sirain ang isang syudad. Dahil sa tsunami na yan. Di ba? So, alam niyo na yung tsunami, di ba? Yes. Malaki ang nasasigira niyan. Ang tanong, anong tawag sa maliit na tsunami? Alon. Ha? Tsunami. Alon. Tsunami. Hindi. Small tsunami. Ang tawag sa maliit na tsunami, tsunano. <laughs> So, uh, again, welcome po. I'd like to encourage you today. Uh, let's read, I'll read to you a verse. Sa Psalms 68, verse 1. Sabi, Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered, and let them also that hate him flee before him. Amen. So, sabi dyan na, na ayaan natin na ang Diyos ay uh, tumayo, magpakitang gilas, di ba? At makita natin ang mga kalaban ay isang mag, mag-scatter, magsilayuman. Alright? Alam ba natin, alam po aware tayo, pero magandang nas, parati tayo masisigurado na re-remind. Do you know how powerful God is Amen. sa buhay ninyo? Amen. Yeah. Seeing you or yung mga nangyayari sa buhay natin, it can really prove that God is so powerful. Amen. Diba? You know, I I remember meron kami, meron kami ay isa sa mga tatay sa barangay Litlit. The first day we visited them, Uh, this si Tatay Dome, he was just sitting sa corner 
very down, very, very down your face. And then when I approached him, I think if you will see this on Facebook, I mean, before you went on Dalaran, I was praying for this old man. That's him. He was very down, and his his words were hopeless. Okay, uh, a big problem, and he was a bit uh, teary eyed and crying. And then we just prayed for him, and it was just a one time thing. And then matagal na ulit talo kami na kabalik. But when we came back, he was this jolly person at 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 at. Uh, Talaga, wala siya ibang hinahanga, kundi makarating parati yung salita ng Diyos sa kanila. And sometimes you would think, ay parang ang daming problema, parang ang hirap na baguhin ng taong ito, parang hopeless kasi yung sitwasyon nila. But technically, nothing changed. They still live in the same place. They still eat the same food. Right? Pero, ang laki ng pinagbago sa kanyang kaisipan. Amen. And God spoke to me and told me, it's not the, the, the sign that shows that God is powerful, God is mighty, cannot only be seen so physical. Mm. All right? Because ang physical, kahit sino, kaya gawin yan. Yes. Pag milyonaryo ka, wala kang Diyos, wala namang imposible. Eh. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Pero ang hindi mo kaya, ang hindi makakaya ng pera, ang hindi makakaya ng mga material na bag, ay mabago yung kaisipan. Yes, amen. Iba ang epekto ng, ng dahil sa mga material na bagay ng bago ang tao. At iba ang epekto ng dahil na bago ng Diyos ang ating kaisipan at puso, kaya na bago ang lahat sa buhay. Amen. And God showed me that I am so mighty, sabi ng Lord sa akin, I am so powerful na yung mga imposible ay kaya kong baguhin. Yung mga imposible ay mag, kaya maging posible. Yes, amen. amen. You know, at first, I couldn't, parang habi ko, paano kayo matutulungan ng mga tao na ito? But then God changed it without me even doing anything. Without, hindi pa na tayo nagbibigay ng tulong sa kanila ng mga panahon na yun. But the first, the second time we, we came, he, he is, uh, doon nagsimula, doon nakita yung pagbabago sa kanila. Kaya ang kapangyarihan ng Panginoon ay limitless. Yeah. Right? Sometimes you would think, paano kaya kulang ito? But no, God can move through uh, difficulties. Amen. Walang makakahalang, walang border na pwede makaharap sa greatness yes. ng Lord. Diba? Even David, eh, he was a, a young guy, but he could defeat. Diba si Saul na, eh, mas experience si Saul agating sa paliging death, sa gera. But, David defeated him. Sabi ng iba, Saul has slain his thousands, but David, what? Did his tens of thousands. Mm-hmm. Diba? Walang imposible. Yeah. Because our God is a mighty God. Amen. You know, when we want to put in our mind that God is mighty, we really have to remove the limitations in our mind. Diba? Uh, sad to say, this world has trained our mind to be limited. Um, the, our education, kasi nga sabi nyo sa Bible, ah, uh, pag nalaman mo kay, eh, kay uh, Eve, di ba, ni, ni Satan, ah, pag malalaman mo ang lahat, malalaman mo ang lahat. Uh, Satan wants you to know everything, all, all knowledge, because he knows it, that knowledge will limit you. Right? Because sa math, 1 plus 1 is 1. Ah, sorry, malito rin ako. <laughs> na, Nako-obvious. 1 plus 1 is 2. Correct? Nagiging 11. So, hindi na pwede maging 1 plus 1 is 3. Tama? Tama po ba? Yes! Ang 2 plus 2 is 4. Yes. Tama? Yes! Amen! <laughs> Pero hindi pwede maging 2 plus 2 is 5. Yes. Amen? Amen. Kung makikita nyo, ang ginagamit ko lang ay addition kasi hanggang dyan lang tayo. Nag-book-click lang yung aming listo. My point is this. This world, because of the knowledge we have, it limits us. It limits us that 1 plus 1 is 2. Mm-hmm. But for God, 
because he is beyond everything. He is beyond science. He is beyond the nature. For him, one plus one can be four. Diba? Ay, hila pa kayo mag-amen, diba? <laughs> because we are limited by the knowledge. Kaya nga sabi ng mga disciples, Lord, ibang libo yung tao, dalawa lang yung isda, lima lang yung tinapay. Of course, talagang mahirap. The medical people says, ah, terminal illness yan, you only have five days to live. Diba? We are limited, but when, if we want to, to, to see the power of God, we have to remove the limitations. Kaya nga sabi doon sa word, let God arise. You have to let God. The reason why we are limited is because we do not let God. Diba? Kaya nga napaka uh, magandang nare-remind tayo na inaayaan natin ang Lord sa buhay natin. But because of our knowledge, our all-knowing uh, things sa mundo ito, we limit God. Amen. Everything becomes impossible. So technically, ang nangyayari ngayon, because of that knowledge, we have, we have limited God, we have boxed God. Kaya nga, hanggat maaari sana, ang gusto ng God, ang kainin natin is yung prutas sa tree of life. Di ba? Because a tree of life, uh, and when we connect with God, everything will become limitless. Everything will, be, will have no borders. We could just walk on water. We could just divide the sea. We don't even have to build bridges, siguro. Because kahit may tubig, we can walk on water. Or kung kaya mo mabasa pa ako, hatiin mo ang dapat, maglangad ka. That's how simple it should be. Amen. Tama? Amen. But, because of everything we have learned, it has limited us. Mm -hmm. But that's why God wants us to let me, not let me. Okay, see, si Paul, di ba, sabi niya, I consider everything rubbish. You know, I am uh, uh, nag-master ang degree siya, nag-doctorate degree siya, lahat ng kailangan gawin sa physical, sa katawan niya, ginawa niya, he's perfect sa mata ng mundo according to him. Kuha niya lahat. Pero then later on, when he, his eyes was opened, he said, ay, everything pala is rubbish. Mm. Diba? So what he did, he just chose to follow God. He just chose, kaya kaya naman naging limitless siya. Yes, the physical might have kind of pigil him, pero no. Nagawa niya yung dapat niya gawin, nagawa niya yung purpose niya. So we have to let God in your life. Okay ba tayo doon? Amen! Kung nahirapan kayong ilet si God sa buhay niyo, tingnan niyo si Sister Letty o si Sister Letty. <laughs> yeah. Para ma-remind kayo na ma-let God arise sa buhay niyo. Alright? We have to really give our all in allowing God to, to move in your life. You know, in our experience here, uh, of course, I'm not saying mas maganda buhay ni John dito, uh, hindi. But again, it depends on how you let God in your life. Amen. Um, for here, parang may mga limitations, but we choose to just let God move. Alright? And, oh, just a testimony po, yung ating barangay sa sa Litli, as of this week, for three weeks na, ay nasa 30 people na yung dumating, adults yun na, hindi ka sa mga bata. 30 and about. And just this week, merong apat na tumanggap kay Lord. Amen. So, you know, it, at first it looks impossible. When we were going around different barangays, it's nakita namin, akala namin magali. You know, but you will feel kung sila ay tatanggap ng salita ng Diyos, tatanggap ng gawain. And with a little bit frustration una, parang ano ba yan, wala tayong 
makaparan, di ba? But then, uh, the testimony here is, diyan kami dumataan parate, day and night, pag kami galing kami sa labas ng, ng kabite, and then God has been impressing this area. And one day, sabi ko, puntahan natin. So kami ni Gia ng punta, all we have is our flyers and lollipop. And that lollipop, through that lollipop, this means, you know, of course, through the Lord. No? Pero sabihin eh, uh, dahil doon sa, sa ating hunting dala, nagsimula ang, ang nagbukas ng pinto para sa gawang ng doon. And it looks impossible at first, di ba? But when we came there, we felt immediately that they are open. Amen. Kaya we are looking forward na ito ay magpatuloy at magpatuloy at magpatuloy pa. Amen? Amen. Kaya wala ang posible sa Panginoon. You know, if if uh, you let your frustrations um, happen, if you let your your worries happen, talaga parang ang dami mangyayari, ang dami pipigil. Yes. But what we do lang is just, uh, let's trust God. Amen. Diba? Let's trust God. You're aware, you know, kilala nyo si si Bleeding Woman. Yeah. Diba? Mm. Alam natin yung story. I'll just read to you that, that verse. Sa Mark chapter 5, verse 25 to 34. Sabi, And a woman was there who has been subject to bleeding for 13 years. She has suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all she had. Yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak because she thought, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Amen. Immediately, her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body that she was free from the suffering. At once, Jesus realized that power has gone out from him. Yeah. He turned around in the crowd and asked, who touched my clothes? You see the people crowding against you, his disciples answered, and yet you can ask who touched me. I feel nice. yeah. But Jesus kept looking around to see who has done it. Then the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell at his feet and trembling with fear, told him the whole truth. He said to her daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be free from your suffering. Amen. Amen. It's, you know, this, uh, I love these verses kasi talaga, it's a practical application. Amen. Right? So, unang-una sa lahat, paano ba natin, how do we just let God? Sabi ko nga kanina, if you let God, that means you get rid of the limitations, you get rid of the knowledge. So, hindi mo naman malilimutan yung mga knowledge na pinag-aralan mo. Eh. Diba? It will still be there. But don't always use it to define your your life. Yes. Alright? Mm-hmm. Don't use your knowledge. Kasi, sabi kasi nung tradisyon namin, ganito eh. Sabi nung napatparalan ko, ganito eh. Yes, well, yes. But, di ba? If it's going to hinder yung purpose ng God sa buhay mo, consider it rubbish. Yes. So, magamit ka ng Panginoon. Amen? When when uh, nung nagpunta kami dyan, I spoke to, I went to the schools na na, na tinuruan ko before. And the, the, the principles that I have spoken to sabi sa akin, kaya nang mababalik, naghihintay kami sa iyo. Sabi ko, bakit? Huwa ko ba ako? Sabi nila, hindi. Um, you know, the, the, the temptation here is this. Parang, wow, ang sarap bumalit dyan. Kasi bukas na ulit ang ekonomiya. Di ba? Ang sarap ulit ma- magawa yung, yung kikita ka, si sweldo ka. Yun yung, yung, yun yung naghumarap sa akin. Di ba? But, uh, we really have to, sabi nga eh, uh, consider everything. Rubbish. I'm not closing it, but, I know for now the purpose of God, why God has brought us here. Yes. Diba? So I cannot say no to it. Yes, 
the, the, the economics, the economy is telling me to okay yung opportunity na yun, opportunity na yun. Yung isa naman, side naman, it's giving me that, ah, see, magaling ka, so balik ka, mali mo. So everything is there. You know? Practicality, o oh, ma, mas maganda lang dyan. Para kahit pa paano, back to normal yung situation namin yun. Yeah, but... Again, how can I let God when I always look at these things? Yes, That's why I always go back to to, to the things that we've learned, the confirmations that we received. I cannot just put it to waste, yes. mm. right? And just additional uh, side track, lah. You know, when, before we came to the Philippines, uh, before pa lahat ng pandemic, before pa yung mga rally and everything, si Sister Abby, she's she has been or she has trapped na na uh, yung mango farm and everything basta pagpunta na lang namin diyan saka pa yung kwento sa inyo but <laughs> in yung in yung in yung vision that we are harvesting from a, a in a mango farm in a puro mango tree then we just realized we talk, we spoken to the local people dito sa barangay etong kinatatayuan ng amin sa division is a mango farm wow. was mango farm and it's got one of the biggest mangoes that the co produce. All right? So it's it's a confirmation. We don't we didn't know that alam na mango farm pala to eh. You know, no no binili namin to place na to sa mapa it was just flat. Then when we came in, di ko alam buntok pala to. Di ba? So we have no knowledge about this. Everything is just a confirmation. Yes. Di ba? Na the God really spoke to us and talaga it's yon. So if bibigay ako doon sa mga temptation, doon sa mga reasoning, parang, ah, yes, mas magandang bumalik dyan. <laughs> di ba? But, here, God has a purpose. Amen. And that's why, because, sa lungat ito, sa nangyayari, sa economy, sa practicality, and everything, that's why I can testify that, yes, if you just let God in your life, uh, everything is possible to God. Amen. Di ba? If we do the mathematics, if we do the the economic calculation, sa nangyayari ngayon, the pr- most best way is pumunta dyan, bumalik dyan. <laughs> Even for Gia, for sa lahat na nangyayari, the best place, the best thing is to go back there. It's easy. Diba? But, right now, we are just answering the call. Amen. And through that, we can really testify that, yes, God is powerful in our life. Amen. Walang imposible sa Panginoon. Amen. So, just like this bleeding woman, how do we let God in our life? How do we let it? How do we to really not let the knowledge, not let yung mga tradition, culture, stop us? or stop us from letting God arise sa buhay natin. Unang-una sa lahat, talaga we have to choose to listen to God's word. Amen. Amen? Dalawa kasi yan, sasalungat siya. Pagka ikaw ay nasa crisis, nasa challenge, you have two choices. You listen to God's word in any way you can, or you listen to the reasonings, like what I said, yung practical things sa buhay mo. So which one? Diba? Sabi nung yung bleeding woman, sabi, when she heard about Jesus, have you heard about Jesus, mga kapatid? Amen! Amen. Right. Now, don't just, don't just stop hearing. Yes. This time you have to listen. Amen. Diba? Sino may mga challenges sa buhay? Amen! Pagkitaas ang buhok. <laughs> Ah, okay. Di ba? Alright. If, if you choose to listen to God, if you choose to just listen to Him, na, na, ano eh, uh, I don't know sa experience yun, no? pero when you read the Bible, when you choose to listen to preachings, it strengthens your faith. Mm. Yeah. Di ba? Sa biblika naman, eh. faith comes through, hearing and hearing the word of God. Diba? So when you hear and hear and hear, kahit anong nangyayari challenges sa buhay, your faith becomes strong. 
And then you begin to learn to face that challenge. Di ba? And then you begin to, to, to be able to stand up against those challenges sa buhay mo. And then, mga pasi mo na lang, afterwards, pag talikod mo, pag tingin mo sa pinagalingan mo, wow, tapos na pala yung challenge na yun. Right? It's, it's that simple. Di ba? Pangalawa, we have to fellowship. Di ba? Kaya nga kayo na dyan na yun eh. No questions about that. You, you make sure na andyan tayo every Sunday. You make sure na pag available kayo na Wednesday, available kayo na Saturday, you go to the fellowship. Why? Because it helps strengthen you. Your faith and your mind. And when you're that strong, you're one step forward to letting God sa buhay nyo. Amen. Amen? Amen. Gusto nyo bang maranasan yung power ng God talaga sa buhay Yes, nyo? Amen. Oh, tira na ko lang ang kanino yan eh. Sabi mo, amen. Pinuulit ko pa eh. <laughs> Now, we have to exercise our faith. Pangalawa, after choosing to listen, you have to really exercise your faith. Di ba? Sa verse 28, sabi, because he thought, kayo ba'y nag-iisip? Amen. Di ba? May, naiisip nyo ba yung mga promises ng God sa buhay. Yes. Amen. Amen. Or ang dami yung iniisip na iba. Vice versa. Diba? Na-imagine nyo ang mga problema, na-imagine nyo yung mga, pro- mga, mga challenges, you know. Here, sabi niya, inisip niya, sabi niya, naisip niya na, nung narinig niya, sabi niya, siguro, kung mahawakan ko nga yung dami, yes. gagaling ako. Nai-exercise nyo ba yun sa mind nyo? Kasi if you are not thinking about it, then there is no action na nangyayari. Yes, amen. Alright? So halimbawa lang, halimbawa lang, uh, whatever problems, challenges you are, you, are do, you are having or facing, dahil meron kayong parating reading of the gospel, you are always fellowshipping, nakakarinig ka ng word of God, you always have that thing in your mind. Sabi, read, your, read the Bible. Sabi, namnamin natin. So, dahil pag may mga challenges, it comes to your mind. Siguro, siguro, dapat hindi ako nag-aalala. Diba? What if, what if, it, siguro pag naging tapat lang ako sa aking tithes and offering, I can see God's moving. Amen. Siguro if, if I would, I would just, just uh, believe na magaling na ako, ano po gagaling ako eh? Amen. Amen. Siguro kung yung mga problema, yung mga asawa ko na hindi pa nangiliwala sa'yo, yung mga anak ko na parang Amen. hindi pa nangiliwala sa'yo. Amen. Nakala ko yung asawa na wala. Just, spray, I would just spray out the house. <laughs> diba? Doon yung, yung asawa mo nakakainis kahit ang sarap sigawan, ang sarap balaga, pagkusa, I'll make him right this time. As if siya ay pastor din. Tama? Amen. Hallelujah. Tama? Amen. Tama? Amen. You see, kasi nangyayari, wala tayong isip. After ng service, we go back to our normal activities. Trabaho, panumita, panumipo, yes. panumipo, 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 panumipo. Pero, eh, eh, tumatakot isip natin, sabi nyo, walang imposible eh. Sabi nyo, Lord, pagka isang maligtas, lahat maligtas eh. Sabi nyo, Lord, kung ako daw magbigay, lahat babalik eh. So, you, you, you play that in your mind. Amen. And because it's playing in your mind, you start to act on it. Amen. Hallelujah. Diba? Sino yung mga naiinis sa asawa? <laughs> <laughs> mga asawa nila sa Pilipinas. Hey. My point is this. No, sa mga may asawa na parang hindi pa rin tumatanggap kay Lord o parang makulit pa rin, pasaway pa rin. It's because we don't have we, we don't have any imaginations for them. Yes. You should have an imagination for them na sabi nila isa maliligtas, ako, lahat ng pamilya maliligtas eh. So dahil ligtas na ako, I believe 
meron na lang ang the blessing sa kanila. Amen. So I'll start treating them as if they are Christians, na, as if they are pastors, mm-hmm. or as if they are workers in the church. Amen. Di ba? That's what the woman did. Hindi pa naman siya magaling eh. Nung naisip niya, hindi naman huminto yung dugo eh. Right? Pero she has that in her mind. Di ba? So, ginawa niya. Ano ginawa niya? Sabi sa atin sa barato, if you walk by faith, not by sight. Ibig sabihin talaga nauuna yung faith. Yeah. Before you see it. Amen. Di ba? So, if you will, pag tayo sa asawa, if you will treat your husbands <coughs> still the same, and you will, if babagawin nyo lang yung trato kapag nakakita na kayo ng pagbabago, then don't expect anything. Yes, true. Amen. So, you treat them according to how God sees them already. Amen. You treat your children na mga pasaway according to how God sees them or how God will uh, will. will you know, kung saan sila gagawin ng Lord. Di ba? Thank you, Jack. Umbala natin. Amen. Now, when you have that in your mind, <laughs> sigurado ako, ahawa ka ko lang eh. Ahawa ka ko lang. Imagine na, lumab- lumabas siya doon sa sa box. Alright? Because, uh, hindi naman, wala namang instruction na kahit damit at hawakan mo, gagalit ka eh. Walang instruction eh. Diba? Pero ang kanyang mind lang, lumabas sa box. Hindi ko kaya buma, hindi ko kaya lumapit, nasisiksikan sila. Ako naman ay yung the, the least dito sa community. Sigurado wala akong place. Sila ko makakapos na binya. So, ang faith ko, mahawakan ko lang yung damit. Yung laylayan ng damit. Diba? So what? So, you listen, you, you choose to listen to God's word, you, you use your faith, ignite your faith, and then you act on it. Mm. Amen? You act on it. Even you see the crowd, even you, you know, you, you feel weak, even you, you, there are challenges, wow. You will see. But you will see the movie, you know, how mighty God is. Amen. But that's how you can really exercise, how you can really enjoy. Maganda na i-enjoy natin kasi yung, yung power ng God. Yes. Diba? Well, huwag natin hintayin lang kasi sometimes we only categorize yung power ng God kapag may mamamatay na, hindi lang nabuha. You know? And that's why parang selective yung ating pagtingin sa miracles. No? Alright? Miracle starts from small things. Mm. Right? Saan ba nasisimula ang maliit na apoy? Diba? Sa malaking apoy? Maliktan. <laughs> <laughs> Oo. Oh, Nakawa lang kayo, no? Diba? Alam niyo dito sa barangay namin nagkaroon ng sunog. Uh, uh, yung 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 mga warehouse ng mga scraps, yung mga tela, kutsyo. Wow. Eh, yung mga bata naglaro, nagsindi, lumaki yung apoy. Diba? Ang problema, alam mo problema yung may kasi hindi siya nakarehistro bilang warehouse. Oh. So, yan po ang latest update. Problema <laughs> talaga. So, we have to act on whatever comes to your mind regarding your faith. Yes, amen. Amen? Amen. Kaya kapag may naisip kayo, you know, this one of the things that we have, we have done our exercising, pag may dumating sa isip nyo, you act on it. You go. Diba? You, you, you proceed. You, you, you step on it. Amen. Kasi that's the action. Mm-hmm. You can, cannot just stay here. Uh-huh. You babae, once you thought uh-huh. of mahawak ko lang ito, with Jesus, gagaling mo po, and then, nagstay na siya, no? And then, hinitay niya dumating si Lord. Tapos sabi ni Lord, oh, ito anak ko, wala kang may damit ko. It didn't happen that way. Yes. Right? No. Your faith, and then, act on it. Amen. So, do you have an imagination sa buhay niyo? Sa mga 
sa, sa bawat bahagi ng buhay niyo. Do you have an imagination? Amen. Amen. Diba? Oh, sa, sa inyong familia. Do you have, do you imagine that your husbands will be preaching and sharing the gospel? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> But what do you believe in? Amen. Diba? Do you do you see your children serving the church or Amen. sharing the gospel? Amen. Do you see your your you know uh, uh how about you your curses? Diba? Yung nagmula a pamilya sa mga broken family. You know, we are ministering to this family here. Yung kanya asawa ay galin din sa sa anak sa iba't ibang babae yung kanyang tatay so marami siyang kakapatid and then dumadaloy sa kanya yun all right lahat sila may may iba't ibang babae and everything so yung curse dumadaloy it is just flowing and the the, the thing here is kapag ka wala kang imagination wala kang naiisip wala mangyayari. Pero dapat sa atin isisimula na ah, hindi, ayoko mangyari ito sa pamilya ko. Yes. And then, make a picture. Yes. Diba? So, pagka nagkaroon kayo ng ganyang picture, hindi sabi, ang inisip nyo, ang asawa ng lalaki ay tapat. Amen. Diba? Mm-hmm. Hindi yung pag tumawag tayo, ba't ikas umagot? Basta ka ba? Sino ka usap mo? Diba? So, pag doon natin magaling, yung imagination mo, andun sa meron siyang iba. Yes. Alright? Yeah. Vice versa din sa mga lalaki, you know, if, if you said you want to cut the curse in your family, you should have a very beautiful picture of your family. How God is, is blessing your family. Amen. Diba? And when you have that, you start to act from it. Kaya yung mga sabihin nila, imposible nila kasi yung nilulong ko, iba't iba ang babae, ako nga po, anak nga po ko sa labas eh. O sige, di, damdamin mo pa. Sabi nga, saksak mo sa baga mo, gusto mo, ano ba talaga ang problema mo? Ano? Yung talagang inaangkin pa. Eh pwede na pang maputol. Yes, amen. That's why you have to choose to let God Amen. Hindi yan yung parang mahala na siguro bukas pagka wala nang babaeng dumapit sa akin siguro ito yung pinagdad. Hello? Sa so, mga gawa kong atulad natin, mga bros. Yeah. Okay now. Right? But we have to choose. Right? I have to choose to to listen to God. Kundi yari tayo. <laughs> Diba? So, we have to choose. Diba? And then act on it. Amen. Diba? Kaya, kaya if, if you will, if you will uh, notice, I always remind you every time I get a chance to speak to you, you have to have that imagination. Exercise that imagination. Amen. Kasi you put a picture. You have to paint a picture. Don't start how you see God. How you see uh, powerful God from going mm-hmm. Amen. Alright? Ang mga, ang mga artists, ang mga painter, they have a picture in their mind for they paint. Mm-hmm. Diba? Ako lang ang may kakaiba kasi kung ano yung nasa isip ko, ang ginawa ko na yung painting, iba eh. <laughs> Pati sa pagkanta, sa, sa isip ko parang yung mga moons ko, pag tumata niya ako. Diba? But that's how we could have. And then, so after we act on it, It has to be a lifestyle of one more. Lifestyle. Again, uh, but it ties up practicality as a family. If, if you want a blessed family, you imagine your your husband or your wife as a woman or as a man of God, then it has to become a lifestyle in you. Amen. Diba? When you talk to them on a regular basis, mm-hmm. you know, just talk to them as if hindi sila makuli. Mm-hmm. Diba? As if, walang, walang, walang issue. Because you start to plant yung picture, you start yes. to plant 
yung yung nang ipinaniniwalaan ka pa ng Amen. I meant di ba? Sabi noon sa verse 33, then the woman knowing what had happened to her came and fell on his feet trembling with fear and told him the whole truth. Di ba? Siya talaga ang pagbaba and then just that is how your pastor should do. You gotta be humble enough to let God be above you. You know, uh, paano tayo eh? Pa, may buto ka, pero may lamang ka. So, ang unang dumada po, pag nababangga, ay ang lamay. Hindi yung buto. Mm. If God is above you, lahat na gagawin mo, na iisipin mo, ay yung si God pa rin. Diba? Amen. So, are you ready? Amen. Amen. Uh, Kaya mo tanong ko yan, sabihin, nag-iisip ako na sa tabi niyo. So, the night style, kaya nga, and then of course, yung pangguling, is we have to live in peace. Amen. Okay? In Katagalog ko, baka kasi pag sinabi mo, live in peace, iwanan nyo ang kapatapaan. Hindi iwanan. Mabuhay tayo sa kapayapaan. Amen. Alright? When you strike, when you learn, pag naging lifestyle na sa'yo, yung letting God sa buhay nyo, you know, hindi nyo makapag-control, you start to live in peace. Hindi ka na nag-aalam ka. Wala na nang mo, o wala kang maranasang suffering. Challenges, again, hindi mo mawala, but you learn to, to, to fight off, to go through without being affected. Amen. Diba? Pwede na nababagsin mo, nalapa ka na. Amen. Amen? So, let's let God sa buhay niyo. Amen. Amen. Alright? Amen. Always remember, our God is very powerful, mm-hmm. walang imposible, and the only way, the only reason why we are not able to let God makita ang power niya because of everything we have learned, the knowledge natin. Yeah. Learn to live with God. Sa, sa mundo, one plus one is two. Kay God, one plus one is eternity. Yeah. Amen. The world will tell you five plus five is ten. That's it. But sorry, my God is the creator of everything. Amen. He is above the mathematics. Amen. He is above the logic. Amen. He is above the nature. About the law. Yes, amen. So when when challenges come, when the na, na, our knowledge starts to to stop us from the purpose of God, mm-hmm. I will go beyond that because I will choose to believe in my God. Amen. amen. And that's why what we have to do. We have to choose to listen. Yeah. Choose to listen. Dig into that faith, exercise that, you act on it, make it a lifestyle, and then yeah. you live in peace. Amen. 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 God bless you, my kapatid, and uh, I hope to see you soon. See you soon, Pastor. Oh, Brother Alex, huh? see you soon. See you soon. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yung mga uwi, sabihin nyo lang. Amen. Wala lang. Para alam ko, di ba? <laughs> God bless you again. I see the floor and shot. Thank you so much sa, sa support ninyo, sa blessing. Uh, at first, parang, ah, you know, it took two years. Almost three years. Di ba? Pagkatino ang bambu, di ba? Ang bambu kasi matagal lumago, pero ang in five years pala, yung ugat mo na ang lumalagi. Tapos, ito ang same. So, and now we can see God is moving. And we're looking forward for more barangay, pero we are just waiting and listening to instructions ng God. So, for now, ang meron tayong gawain ay sa barangay litli. And at the same time, dito sa aming subdivision, meron tayong Bible study. 
God is doing mighty things. Amen. 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 Again, thank you, and uh, God bless you all. God bless you all. Thank <laughs> you.